is Shui Fenhe in northern northeast China. This is one of the major ports for timber to enter China from Russia. The species down here range from pine to birch, ash, oak, and the timber can come from far away as Western Siberia and a little bit closer from Primorye just across the border. The timber here is mainly being sold through traders who are buying literally from the port here. There's very little traceability. The risk of buying timber like this through an open trading with low traceability or no traceability is that you're almost certainly going to be buying illegal wood. Perhaps 30% of the wood coming through this port is illegal. It may be more. The companies that are buying wood in this sort of situation with no traceability, with no chain of custody, with no guarantee of legality, it's a major risk to your business. In working with companies in the stepwise approach, companies have told us that they need help and legality. How to find out if wood is legal, how to prove it is legal. Okay, one of the uh, issue is uh, legality. How we proven, uh, I mean, uh, the log is uh, legally harvest. The Keep It Legal guide can help companies address the issue of illegal timber in their supply chains. It helps companies cut through the confusion about legality by clarifying the questions to ask suppliers, suggesting methods of tracing wood supplies, and outlining a risk assessment process to rate suppliers. It's very difficult to say in black and white terms whether a particular wood is legal or not legal. And the reality is that there's shades of grey between you know, perfectly legal, um, a little bit dubious, and completely black market wood. And the Keep It Legal manual is designed to help you make sense of those different forms of legality and different types of operation. The guide proposes a system for companies to prioritise action with suppliers according to a risk rating. Using this, companies can eliminate illegal and controversial timber through the stepwise approach. A lot of the uh, laws in countries are confusing, interpreted in different ways, so it's very difficult to make a hard and fast decision what's legal and what's not legal. But to help that, the Keep It Legal guide has country guides specific to certain countries to help interpret how the guide would work in that country. So for example, we're working on guidance for China, Indonesia and Russia at the moment, which will help companies make sense of the complex laws in that country. For any kind of forest products company, the guarantee that its supply chain is free of illegal and controversial timber is vital to its brand and reputation. Establishing legality is also a necessary step for all companies that commit to credible certification and GFTN membership. Legality is a key issue for GFTN, the WWF. Without establishing legality, you have got no hope of progressing towards certification.